selfless. But the one person I see in the Bible, the one person I see in history, and it's not in this room, it's nobody in this room. I think we've all, we've all had selfish uh, mindsets at times. We've all had spiteful mindsets at times. And sometimes we might be selfless. But in the Bible, I see that Jesus was always selfless. John 15, verse 13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Y'all bear with me. Isaiah 50, verse 6. Jesus was so selfless that he willingly took our punishment. Willingly took our punishment. Isaiah 50 verse 6, it says, I gave my back to the smiters and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. There's nobody else in this room that can do that for you. Nobody else in this room, nobody else if they're watching on Facebook that they can do that for you. I'm going to tell you, I've tried to pull hair out of my beard and it hurts. But Jesus willingly let them do it. He didn't fight back. He willingly done, let them do it. To the point, Isaiah 52 verse 14. He was unrecognizable. You didn't even know who he was. The Bible says, the Bible says here in 52 14, As many were astonished at, at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man and his form more than the sons of men you didn't even recognize who he was maybe Peter denied him three times because he didn't know who he was I don't know but the Bible says clearly here that he was unrecognizable he didn't do it for some other God he didn't do it to make himself look great he didn't, he didn't do it for our jobs. He didn't do it for our, our homes that we live in. He did it for you. Isaiah 53 verse 5, it says this. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. If I look in the scripture, none of that I just read is any, any, anything close to being selfish. Everything I just read there is nowhere close to being spiteful. So I ask you again here tonight, what mind is in you? Jesus did what he did because he loves you. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 5, 8 says this, But God shows his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, still sinners, not were sinners, Still sinners, Christ died for us. The man that took the punishment, the man that was unrecognizable, the man that took the nails in his hands and his feet, the crown of thorns upon his head, the spitting, the mocking, the, the, the humiliating that he was going through, did it for no one else but for you.